Let's start off with the Coliseum. There are two tickets. You have the base, which is 18 rows, and it's 24 hours, and it includes access to the Roman Forum. Then you have the full access ticket, which is 22 euros per person, and it's a two-day ticket that also includes full access to the Roman Forum, but with this one, it has special access to other little museums within the Forum. There's also two types of tickets when it comes to full access. You have the full access ticket that allows you to get onto the arena and another full access ticket that allows you to get on the arena and into the underground. They're both the same price, so I highly recommend that you go for the underground and the arena, but make sure to purchase the ticket in advance because the underground and the arena go by really fast. So up next, we have the Roman Forum. The Roman Forum is included within the Colosseum ticket that you purchase, either if you purchase the full access or the basic. But if you purchase the full access, like I mentioned earlier, you will have access to other small places within the Roman Forum. If you plan to get the basic ticket, make sure that you go to the Roman Colosseum early so that way you have enough time to check out both the Colosseum and the Roman Forum because when you get to the Roman Forum there is so much to see and there is so much to learn from it. Next up, we have the Basilica of St. Peter. So this is a small basilica by the Roman Colosseum, and it is said to host the chains that St. Peter wore in Jerusalem. Next up, we have the Trevi Fountain. The Trevi Fountain is free, just make sure that you get there early because the crowds do get big. And if you want to make it to the front, it's going to take a minute. The Trevi Fountain has some incredible history behind it. This is actually the spot of an aqueduct that was found and used by Romans back in the day for the fresh source of water. Welcome to the Pantheon. This used to be a Roman temple and it is one of the best preserved pieces of history that is standing in Rome. The price to get into the Pantheon is free, so just make sure you get there early so you can avoid the crowds. Welcome to Piazza Navona. Now, this area used to actually be a stadium for athletic competitions back in the day of the Romans. Now it's just a beautiful plaza with the fountain of the four rivers and two other additional fountains. This area is truly beautiful. It is really relaxing with its small shops and cafes. You get to sit down and enjoy the view. Up next for number seven, we have the Vatican Museum. Now this museum, I really enjoyed it. There was so much to see, so much to learn, and being able to see the paintings on the wall and on the roof was just amazing. All that was hand painted, and you can imagine how much time was put into it. So tickets range from eight to 17 euros, depending on what ticket you get. I posted the link below in the description for the tickets to the Vatican Museum. One thing you should take into consideration though is that when you make the purchase for the ticket using a credit or a debit, it may not go through and it may just stay in the loading phase. I had this problem and I ended up having to call fraud and then they had to accept their transaction on their side. So what you might find easier is to get this from a third party, as long as it is credible. Welcome 
to Vatican City. Now this little city is its own independent city state that covers over a hundred acres and has a population of around a thousand members. A fact that you should know before you go is that there is a dress code and the dress code consists of males and females covering their shoulders and their knees. So you can't have shorts that go above your knees or any shirts or tank tops that show your shoulders. The dress code also applies if you're trying to enter St. Peter's Basilica within the Vatican City. Our ninth destination is within Vatican City and that is St. Peter's Basilica. Now this area is really beautiful, it had a lot to see, a lot to learn, and it actually hosts an underground area where you can actually see the tombs of the other previous popes. The entry fee to the basilica is free but you will have to wait in line for quite a while. Also, make sure you are wearing the appropriate attire, nothing that goes above the knees, and you have to wear something that covers the shoulders. Up next for our final destination, we have the Spanish Steps. Now, these steps are the widest and longest staircase in Europe. This destination is also perfect if you want to catch your last day here in Rome with a sunset because the sunset here is really beautiful. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more travel content, hit the notification button so you get reminded when my next video comes out and I will see you guys again when we unveil our next destination.